yellow boxes. When you scroll, you're going to get down to some blue ones. These are mostly medical history questions, so you'll only check what pertains to you. Okay. Otherwise, you'll leave them blank. Mm -hmm. and you keep scrolling on the last page. Number 11, unless you're opting out of the surgery, you'll leave it blank. blank. Full signature in this blue box, your initials here. And I'll witness it, and it's all touch screen, so you just tap it, sign on the screen, hit accept. Okay. When was your cycle? Um, just last week. Last I'm almost week. done. So, okay, yeah, so I, if you have your cycle during anesthesia, or like if you are expecting usually to have it afterwards, mm -hmm. it can kind of trigger it to have, you can have like two cycles in one month, or it can okay. skip a cycle. So don't because be alarmed if you notice any changes in your cycle. Because of that. Mm -hmm. So these are the medications that I'll be taking pre and post-op. Ay ay ay. I don't like pills, but we gotta do it. And just in case I get the drains post-op, this is my lug information and then info packet. This is my last day before the surgery, so I'm gonna spend time with Anika because I'm not able to pick her up for about three to four weeks. So, yeah, I'm gonna spend time with my baby girl, Yo Yo. Mm. Mm. You love mommy? Yeah? Mwah. Give mommy a bite. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> She's feeding me. Mmm, sweet girl. I love you. All right, okay. In the morning. Today's the day I have to be there at 6.30 in the morning. Um, I can't eat anything. I just need to take two pills with a sip of water. I didn't sleep good last night. I kept waking up because I thought... I was gonna miss my surgery. I even had a dream that I ate food <laughs> and then my surgery had to be canceled. <laughs> I had all these other dreams. I couldn't really go, I couldn't sleep well. Um, I don't know, I'm nervous. Um, but I do know that everything is going to be okay. Um, God will be taking care of me. We prayed last night. That was super sweet. Um, Troy's parents came upstairs when we were watching TV and they prayed for me. And that made me feel super good. Um, yeah, so um, we'll see how it goes. We are here, you guys. I have my hubby with me. He took off work today. Yes. Do. To support me. Mm. There, whatever you mm -hmm. want. Just the opening is gonna go in the front. Okay. <laughs> I get it if you like give me a massage for a week. But <laughs> it's the first thing that came to mind. I don't know. <laughs> I won't be able to even massage you. But, like, but it's not like a regular one, so it's not as bad when you get them done. All right. I'm gonna give you some numbing medicine first. Be a little stick and a burn and then after that all you feel is pressure okay. so if you look at her veins do you see how this one keeps popping over mm -hmm. so that's indicative that she's going to be the type of person whose veins are going to roll right yeah. so anytime you have somebody where you suspect that might be the situation you want to have make sure that you're kind of pulling really taut on the hand to make sure you keep everything as straight as possible big deep breath in sweetheart big stick and a burn so even just using the, the numbing medication, just putting the needle in, that little vein started rolling away from mm -hmm. me. It's nothing to worry about. She's got great veins. It's just something that in the future you may encounter someone that's like, oh, your veins are rolling. Let that soak in for a second. I'm surprised you're filming this. Usually it's the men that are borderline about to pass out. <laughs> Oh no, I can tell you. How many tattoos do you have? Yep, I have all on my arm. Are you have a full sleeve? Chest. Not a no. full sleeve. You have a full sleeve, you need to sit down because you're about to drop, like you're just going to drop like <laughs> 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 <laughs>
It's <laughs> always the guys that have all the tattoos that are like. Really? Really? Yes, every time. That's so interesting. Funny. I know. Solve or show. I know. Okay. So, weird feeling as the catheter threads in. Sorry, there's a lot of pressure. You did it. And I YouTubed it last night. Really? <laughs> is here. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? Now we are going to be uh, <laughs> doing explant today. <laughs> and uh, let me read my records. Uh, <laughs> so we are going to be Michelle. Is that how you say it? Yes. Wool, wool fork. <laughs> okay. 1104 is your date of birth? Yes. Okay. Okay. This procedure is very, very simple. We do this all the time. <laughs> Let me explain it to you. These two are your two breasts, okay? <laughs> I'm going to lift it, do an incision right there, and we're just going to take that sucker out, okay? <laughs> and we're going to duplicate and replicate the process over here. Lift, incision, out. Okay? Okay. Alright, now, I need to make sure my hands are properly sanitized. But you have gloves. Well, the gloves can get dirty too. Are you the doctor? Or am I the doctor? Okay. Alright, hugs and kisses. <laughs> Bye. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Pump it up a little bit. Because I'm an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing them 80 mile power balls. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sports makes you. Uh, like, it's, like you hit, it's like you hit 30s. I don't know. Everything is downhill. I know. I know, man. Oh, it's going to be this way. Like, the goal is to be like J Lo when you're like 45. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be rich to have trainers, right? Yeah. Or Jada Pinkett. Pinkett. That was fabulous when you got, you know, 50 million. Pretty good. Right? Exactly. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be you might want to take this look, bro. <laughs> Yeah, let me have some of that. <laughs> I know, right? A little for you, a little for her. Give me a wave, a wave. <laughs> oh, it looks bright in there. Chinky eyes. And... Michelle's actual implant. Still intact. Yes. Guess who is fresh out of surgery? She's back. And she still has boobs. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, with the drugs, ooh, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shocked to see how fast and efficient the doctor was? Last time I remember, I was saying bye to you. And then the nurse told me, like, you're done. What? Because I still <laughs> had my oxygen mask to breathe. So I thought I was just dreaming. And then here we are, I'm ready to heal, and that all flat, flat. And the good thing is, the recovery is going to be much shorter than we expected. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about two weeks, and as you can see, vital signs are good. I'm not sure if you can even tell what that is. No, but. <laughs> we're about four, four to five weeks, which is fine. Let's just say two, two months. Weeks. But then, everything's good. Yay, I'm alive. On the road to healing. What's up, everyone? 
so I'm back home we left at I would say um, 11 30 or 11 45 I got home at noon and I've just been in bed um, I was already able to eat some food I had a salad and some shrimp um, protein shake and took my pills I'm a little woozy still from the medications <laughs> from the anesthesia but all is well I'm so happy how my boobs turned out um, look so this is the first day it's a little loose obviously because it was stretched and I had the implants for so long but I like how they are um, I just feel so much lighter with my chest I feel like I'm free so yeah um, thank you guys so much for um, watching this episode I'm just gonna relax um recover and heal and i will probably make another video for um the progress of my post op post surgery and that's about it you guys um thank you for all your support and i love you guys <laughs>